This video, in conjunction with the installation manual, will show you the basic steps to install a Skyline system. So there's a stud underneath here that runs all the way out there. So when I put the lags in, I want to hit that stud string as a guide. Measuring evenly from the edge of the roof, top and bottom, you can also use a hammer to sound out the rafters just by pounding roughly where the rafter is and making sure that the rafter is uh, right underneath your hammer. You'll hear a more solid sound when you get to the rafter. Now that you've located your rafters, mark the rafters and evenly position the mounting rails as shown. Pre-drill a lag into the rafter. If you miss a rafter, use a feeler wire through the hole to locate the rafter. Redrill and seal the old hole. Remove the lag and force polyurethane saline into the hole. Leave a good dab above the hole. For three and four collector rails, use the same process for the center lag. Place the lag through a washer and L-bracket and drill the assembly through the rails. But do not tighten yet. Do the same for all L-brackets. Loosely bolt the U-brackets in place. Now it is time to bring the collectors up onto the roof. You can do so by leaning the collector against the gutter and then picking it up and moving the collector into place. Place the first collector down on the rails Bring the second collector up and put it into place. If you have more collectors, just continue until you're finished. Now that you have the collector in place, snap the L-bracket underneath the trim as shown. The U-clips will be in place but not tightened at this point. Next, align and tighten the collector compression unions. Using a little silicone spray on the compression threads, makes tightening easier. For each L bracket, drill two tech screws through the trim, brackets, and frame as shown. Be careful not to miss the brackets or to strip the hole. Next, drilling at an angle, place a screw through each side of the U-brackets. Now you can tighten all lags and nuts. To locate the placement of the hole for the feed line, loosely place the compression L on the feed line. Mark where the hole needs to be, remove, and drill a one and a half inch hole. For the return, loosely assemble the T on the outlet pipe. Carefully locate where the return hole will be drilled. Lift the shingles with a flat bar and drill another one and a half inch hole. Place the roof boot under the shingle as shown. You can seal with caulk or kneel it down with two roofing nails. Do the same for the top and bottom. A tip to connect the bottom line. Connect the compression L to the tube first, then connect to the collector feed line. Connect and seal the PV wires and run the wires to the water heating area. Install a PV panel using the four longer self-tapping screws as shown. Assemble the return line pressure relief valve assembly, connect the lines through the roof, and tighten all fittings. 
Next, place caulk on the pressure relief valve splash guard and place onto the pressure relief valve outlet. Fully seal inlet and outlet holes with insulation. After insulating all lines, protect the insulation with aluminum foil tape. Paint all foil and brackets with matching spray paint for an attractive appearance. Here are examples of completed Skyline Collector installations.